This is a stentor. And in this video, you'll see the death of a stentor. I captured a small mini time lapse of this individual that passed away. It's quite interesting how quickly the cells deteriorate. And you'll see in this video later on. But first, what are stentors? Stentors are a single-celled organism that lives in freshwater ponds. They are the family of a single-celled trumpet protozoa that is a filter feeder, basically. These tiny little creatures can move around in freshwater ponds with their cilia and are clearly mobile, but they do attach to surfaces in the pond. These guys are like floating magic filter feeders. For those of you that know this channel, know that I've got a hobby where I create resurrection jars, terrariums, and other things, uh, bio jars, ecospheres. I've, this is a sample, uh, and this is where I got the stentors from, was a resurrection jar that was created in Florida in a freshwater lake. And I took the water sample home and there was no visual of these stentors at all. Over time, I started noticing that there was these tiny microscopic little creatures attaching themselves to the glass. And I found this pretty fascinating. The thing is, with these stentors, I didn't see them in the beginning. They weren't there. And over a couple of weeks, they started thriving. How that happened, I don't know. Um, maybe there was, I don't know how they breed. Um, but I, I'm assuming that there was no eggs. But it was fascinating to see how they started to develop on the glass of the jar. So I had to take some samples and it's pretty hard to study them because at the end of the day, they are very sensitive, tiny little single cell creatures. And if you want to put them underneath the microscope, it you could damage them, especially if you put that top slide on. So I chose not to put the top slide on and allow them to move freely just in the little drop of water. That being the case, it was pretty tricky to be able to film because when you when the stentors are swimming in different heights in that tiny little droplet of water, it 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 comes in and out of focus very easily and it's nothing I can do about it. You kind of almost film by just hoping that it's going to come into focus stay visible for a while and then drop out of focus if you constantly keep trying to chase the stentor you're just not going to have that much good imagery but i do think i managed to capture some pretty awesome visuals of a stentor and its cilia so at the end of this video you'll see something that is obviously natural in nature but one of the stentors that i was filming did pass away and the cell died and i have a little mini time lapse of that so i hope you enjoy and this is what happened
This particular shot here is an example of how fragile it is to film up close. The slightest movement is detrimental to the imagery. But I kept it in here. It was worth showing you the cilia going crazy. And like I said, every one of those cilia equals a like. So please help me on this channel and <laughs> hopefully one day it can change my life. But how awesome are these tiny little cilia?